What's going on, everyone? Sports back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing my Week 11 preview and prediction video for the New York Football Giants as they are hosting at MetLife Stadium today as they go up against the Detroit Lions. The seven and two Giants take on the three and six Lions, um, what should be a good game and is essentially almost a must win for the Giants. Um, you know, first let's take a look at the injury report for the teams. First for the visiting Detroit Lions. Uh, Romeo Aquara, of course, he hasn't been playing um, in a while. He's missed about a month. He will not play in this game. Um, Charles Harris, the defensive lineman. Josh Reynolds, the wide receiver. Um, Frank Ragnow is questionable. Um, the center, I would expect him to play. Deshaun Elliott, who is in concussion protocol, he is questionable. Don't know if he's going to play. He's a really good player over there in that secondary, so... If you know, if he misses the game, that could be pretty uh, pretty big for the Giants and pretty big for that uh, Lions secondary. Savion Smith, the cornerback, is out for this game as he has a concussion. Um, as well as Josh Pascal, the defensive end, he will not play in the game as well. And then uh, a couple more guys questionable. Maurice Alexander, not really a big name, but Malcolm Rodriguez. Um, he's a pretty, pretty big piece to that um, Lions defense. He's questionable with an elbow injury, but... He practiced in full on Wednesday, um, you know, before being limited Thursday and Friday. So I would expect him to play, but you know, you never know. He's a big piece to that linebacking core of the Lions. And then on the Giants side of things, um, there's a few guys who are questionable: Kenny Galladay, Dexter Lawrence, um, Wandale Robinson, Joshua Zoo, Dane Belton, of course. And then the players that are out are going to be Daniel Bellinger, Evan Neal's doubtfully will not play, in my opinion. Aziz Ojolari, of course. Uh, Xavier McKinney, the obvious ones. Um, those guys will be out of this football game, but the Giants open up as three point, or sorry, they, they are pretty much going to probably close as three point favorites here, and I'm going to actually take them to win and cover the spread. I got the Giants winning 31 to 23. I think the Giants put up 31. Um, I think they put up 30 for the first time this season. They haven't put up 30 in a long time, but if there's a week that they're going to do it, it's going to be this week, and I'm really hoping Kenny Galladay plays. Um, you know, because for Kenny Galladay, he's been in a tough situation, but, you know, for Galladay, we know what he can do. I think at this point, it's just mental. And I think just one game could really spring, um, his season and shoot it right up. And this is the week to do it against his former team, the Lions, it's sort of a revenge game. You know, it's going to be a really good one. And if Galladay can catch a pass earlier, you know, do something, I think that could really help. All it takes is a couple catches or just one touchdown, and he's going to be back at least to some part of the player that he once was with Detroit. I think this is the week that the Giants will finally, um, you know, start to ramp it up on the offensive side and really just air out the football a little bit more. This is a really bad Lions defense, you know, of course, and we know how bad they are in terms of their run defense, but I think the Giants can really take advantage um, to open up the passing game because that'll help. Um, you know, win this game and win in future weeks. So, you know, I think it's going to be a really good one. So it's going to be super, uh, you know, really exciting. Um, you know, I, and I like the Giants in this game. I think they have a couple question marks on defense. Of course, stopping the run with DeAndre Swift and Jamal Williams. But I think if you can do that, um, put a door Jackson on the Monroe, St. Brown. You know, there's not a whole ton of weapons here on this Detroit team. There's really only two or three guys that worry you. Of course, the two running backs in Amon Ross St. Brown. Jared Goff's not a guy who worries you. You know, he's not going to throw for anything crazy. I mean, he, he'll be a 300-yard passer probably in the game because the Giants will look to limit the run and allow pass, pass plays. You know, we saw it last week against the Texans. The game plan was to stop Damian Pierce. It worked out, but... It came with Davis Mills throwing over 300 passing yards. But I think the Giants are going to be able to create some turnovers here in this football game that are going to help them win this game. And no matter how many passing yards Jared Goff has, if the Giants can limit the run, you know, they're, they're going to be in a good shape to win this football game here. And on the offensive side of the ball, I mean, you know, control the clock. Do what we've done all season long. Run the ball with Barkley. You know, get yourself in good, you know, situations, second and five, second and six. Don't be in second and 10, 11. You know, that's not a situation we want to be in against this Detroit Lions team because, you know, you know, we know we can run the ball down their throat. And I think, um, I think the Giants today, you know, I think they're going to do that. And, 
as much as I think they're going to run the ball a lot, they're not going to run nearly as much as they did against the Texans where Barkley had 35 carries. I think he'll probably have right in, in around 20 to 23 carries. And, you know, Barkley or, or sorry, Jones will probably throw it 27, 28 times here in this football game. So expect that. And the Giants also have to factor in that you can't overuse Barkley. I get you have to get the win. And, you know, I'm not worried about Dayball because he knows exactly what the plan is here. He knows exactly what he's doing. But, you know, there's not – it's a short week coming up. And you got Dallas, of course. you got to worry about this game first. But you're not going to run Barkley 35 times, you know, because you know you're going to need him so much on Thursday. So I think the Giants are going to not limit Barkley but keep him to a lower, you know, load, um, you know, to kind of don't overuse him so that he is not in the best shape for Thursday. I think the Giants run with Barkley – um, still a lot, probably 20 to 25 times. Breida gets a few carries, you know, and I think Jones airs it out a bit more, and I think Jones is going to go for 250-plus passing yards in the game today. Given that Barkley isn't going to have as big a load in the run game, he's not going to have as many carries as he has in prior weeks. He definitely won't have as many as he did in the lot in the Texans game, but expect him to get going a little bit more in the passing game. We're going to need that. Um, you know, Wondell Robinson, I think he's going to play. It sounds like Brian Dayball is pretty, you know, um, confident. And, of course, um, you know, Kenny Galladay, if he can get on the field. Slayton's been good, you know. So I think there's a few guys the Giants can go to. Isaiah Hodgins, he's, he was good in the game on Sunday, last Sunday. So, so it'll be interesting to see what the Giants do. But overall, guys, I got 31-23 to Giants win this one. You guys let me know your predictions. Let me know. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know all that good stuff down below in the comment section. As always, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We'll see you guys on the next video. And as always, let's go Giants.